We're here in Pilot Point, Texas, home of Chad and Susie Chance and Hoofwatch. We're teamed up with the World Championship Blacksmiths to do our final run in Las Vegas, Nevada for our 2017 championship. And the judges are Gene Leisure and Chad Chance of Hoofwatch. And we are going to do a shoe today from the individual class, and it's going to be the square toed French hind. The shoe is made out of 12 inches of 3 8 by 1. It's 5 and a quarter inches wide by 5 and 5 8 inches long. It's set up for seven E5 Slim Liberties. It's got two Massillets, and it's got the square toe, and it's got the classic round inside, square outside. It's got a reverse heel that reaches in and, and hits a crushed heel with some boxing going to it. And I think it's just so pretty much important that the out, you pretend like these Massillets are not here, and the edge of the shoe, the peripheral edge of the shoe, goes through those lines. If you bump the toe, you're just trying to get rid of the material you bumped in the toe. So I'm going to take two heats anyway. So I'm going to focus one of the heats here and then one of the heats here. And I have the material where I want it instead of having to squish it out. So you can see I got the one side. It's bumped more to the one side than the other. Now we'll do this other side. I got plenty of material in the toe. I got plenty of thickness. I'll crack the toe. Just, this is the French version of the Roadster. So if you don't have enough on your lateral branch, you really wreck the Massillet area. So make sure you get your toe way off center so you have plenty of material for your lateral branch. Now come here, instead of doing this, that takes material. Before you ever commit to your toe, you really want to get your width established. So you want to come in here and really get this knocked down. There's a ton of material there. We're going to hold it. You want to hold it square to where these branches are coming off the anvil the same. All I want to do is I'm going to establish the corner of my mass a lot, and this will be establishing the corner of my square toe with the same exact hammer blow. This will push material this way, and the back edge of the, the corner of the hammer will pull material up this way and establish the first corner. I've got the toe sitting up here. I'm going to be way out on the bic. I'm going to chop, and this is going to be the beginning of my toe. We don't forge. I mean, the toe is forged in there, and then just come up here, and you can see how. Now, I'm going to get crossways, and I'm going to hit the center of the toe and go to that point. Come up here and close that shoe up. Narrow up right to the heel. These all got to line up. We got to have the branch, the corner, and that mass lot has got to start to be pushed out. Everything's got to be dropped down, but that corner has to be established with the line of the branch. If the corner's not in line with the branch, you have to make it in line with the branch. Just by doing this, look how much material I got. So I got to come in and extremely flatten it out once again and reestablish all those lines one more time. You flatten it the whole time. So right now I'm flattened and I'm dragging that outside edge out again. What I want to do is I want to just start establishing that reverse heel. Flatten. That's going to be a process. OK. I'm going to come here, stay out on the bic. Go to that corner. 
At the same time, I don't want to hit the top. I want to hit, and with my round side of my hammer, I'm bringing that up onto the anvil on the horn. I'm bringing this up onto the horn. Then you can see, now I have a place where I can start making contact with the face of the anvil. Flatten, flatten, flatten. This shoe will be flattened from the time you pull it out of the fire till the time you put it back in the fire. Again, I'm just trying to establish that nice, clean, crisp lines. Way out here on the tip, I'm gonna pull that in. This is, what this is doing is this is establishing and getting that even with that corner. Then come here and just hit in the center of that toe because I'm forging it out to that corner. And I've not gotten into this corner here. Establish the top edge and use the round side of my hammer to establish the back and just run her down. Come here and just run in the inside edge as long as you miss your massile. Then I'm going to come here out on the tip and I work out to that corner. Pulling with my hammer with the round side, you can see I'm picking up that mass away. And then run her down pretty good. Again, flattening. Come in here and just gathering this up. Got this corner lined up. And now I got my mass lot. I'm not really gonna mess with that material until I start fullering. I'm gonna come at a at a an angle that's halfway between these two angles. So I got these two angles, I try to intersect it, and then that's when that's where I put my fullering mark. That way I've got the best shot of this fuller in blowing out my corner. Put my quarter bend in. Go out to the corner. Now I'm just gonna tighten up this a little bit. I, put, I, bu I buckled all those edges by making a better profile, so now I'll come back and flatten it out again. And now I can fold it. Kind of 
get that heel hitting the bit bottom of it. Pick that up. Establish in that corner. What I'm doing here is that I don't have the horn against it and I'm just pulling, tugging on that to get that. What I'm doing is trying to get my branch in line with the corner there. Just come straight in from that corner about halfway. Point it towards this a little bit above parallel to the ground. Now I'm gonna take right here and open up my shoe a little bit. Come and establish my edge of my boxing and I'm kind of tearing it down in a straight line and that'll make that, that back edge really straight. We're tipping it up, and all I'm doing is just grabbing that corner. That allows me to make as many hammer blows as I need to without, and then it just makes everything come together nice and tight. Just come here and just tighten it up there, tighten it up there. And then I'm really, really binding that shoe on the anvil to move my quarter up. When I say that, I'm binding, I got daylight, and that's moving my quarter up the branch. Chase that corner over there. All I'm doing is opening up this branch, going out to the quarter. Just holding it up and just gets that started out there. Then you can just do the same thing and just kind of establish that nice line with your fuller end. Now we'll just take each branch and file it up. I'm pretty much where I want to be. I'm going to just sort it out now with, a, uh, we'll file some edges and, and be done with this branch. I got it all filed up. Now I'm just trying to get all the big nasty stuff off of it. Now I'll just flatten it and then just refuller and punch it and be done with it. Getting all that just dirt out of the fire off of there.
pretty much done. We'll cool it off and look at it.